good morning students i hope you are staying safe at home and you are maintaining the social distancing due to that corona pandemic okay so i'm sure you are very excited to attend this virtual classes so without wasting time directly i'll start our uh, class that is the first class of uh, chapter 2 i'm going to start chapter 2 that is force and pressure and this uh, unit that is uh, unit 2.1 in this unit, we will able to learn about the rest and motion and kinds of motion. So today's topics are rest and motion, types of motion, translatory motion, circulatory motion and oscillatory motion. So now we will start our class with very basic and interesting topic that is rest and motion. Basically rest and motion are the states of any object. So uh, uh, rest, generally we can see that the people or the objects around us are, which is not moving. Okay, that means they are not changing their position with respect to the surrounding and with the time. Okay, so rest is when the position of a body with respect to its surrounding does not change its position with the time, the body is said to be rest because uh, generally we can't say that uh, it is in the rest but scientifically we have to use that word that is rest. So when the position of a body with respect to the surrounding does not change its position uh, from the reference point or we can say from the fixed point, reference point that means the initial point. Okay. So with the time, the body is set to be at rest. For example, a table is at rest uh, if it is not pushed by anybody. So it is set to be at rest uh, uh, due to the uh, room in which it is kept. Okay. So suppose the next example we can take a book is lying on the table. So book will be uh, uh, at the position of rest because it is uh, not getting disturbed by anybody. So it will be at the position of rest because it is not changing its position with the surrounding. So next state is that uh, motion. Motion or we can describe the motion in word, word, one word that is movement of any object. Okay, so when the position of the body with respect to its surrounding changes with time, the body is said to be in motion. Okay, for example, that uh, flowing water, okay, the running blades of the fan or cars or buses running on the uh, that road, aeroplanes which are flying in the sky or birds, they all are in the states of motion. So rest and motion are the states of any object. As we have seen that rest and motion are quite different because in rest the object does not change uh, its position with respect to the time but in motion object changes its position that means they both are the different state but in physics they considered as the relative terms so uh, actually what happens uh, in the universe nothing is at absolute rest or at absolute motion because one object can be in motion uh, in relation to one of um, that one object and it can be uh, in the motion in relation to the other object at the same instant of time suppose uh, to prove that we can take one example suppose we are sitting uh, in a moving train okay so we are in the position of uh, motion uh, with respect to the people or the object those who are outside the train okay but however what about that uh, objects or the people or the walls or that fence which are placed uh, inside the train we are at the rest position for that object okay so in that way we can say that one object can be in the position of rest at the same time that particular object can be in the motion for the other objects okay so in that way rest and motion are the related terms as we look around us, we can see all the moving objects, they perform the different types of motion. That means if we can say if they are moving, that means they are in any type of motion. Suppose uh, we can say like the moving buses or that uh, running trains or that moving ceiling fans or flowing water or that clock, these all are in different types of motion so now we will study about the types of motion so an object can have these kinds of motion and the motion are classified in this way that uh, translatory motion 
circulatory or the other name of circulatory is the rotatory motion, oscillatory motion, vibratory motion, periodic and non-periodic motion, random motion, uniform and non-uniform motion. Actually, translinear motion is uh, categorized in two ways that is rectilinear and curvilinear. curvilinear. So, we will study about the rectilinear and curvilinear also. So, in this class, we will study about the translatory, circulatory and oscillatory motions only because uh, it is very uh, difficult to explain about all the motion in a class. So, we will study uh, till oscillatory motion. So, translatory motion is the motion when a body moves through to the same distance in same interval of time. Suppose I am moving in a straight line and I am taking the distance of 2 meter and just after I am changing my uh, path and I am moving in a curved path. First I was uh, moving in that straight line and now, now I am moving in a straight path and I am taking the same distance that is of 2 meter. Okay, so in that case I can see that I am in the translatory motion because I am taking the same distance uh, in the same interval of time but path can be changed. Maybe it can be of a straight line or it can be of curved path. Okay, so translatory motion can be of two types that is of rectilinear and curvilinear. So first we will see about the rectilinear motion. Rectilinear that is uh, uh, it is mentioned it is, uh, in its name only that linear. Linear that means in a Line. So, the motion of the body along a straight line, when a body moves along a straight line, we can see that body possesses a rectilinear motion. So, we can take that example, we can see the example of a rectilinear motion. You can see this, that uh, the train is moving in a straight line or a straight track, that the coin of a carom board, when striking, it undergoes a rectilinear motion. Okay. So, this is the examples of rectilinear motion. You can take another examples of uh, rectilinear motion also like a free, uh, freely falling uh, body uh, or a free, uh, freely falling stone. When it comes down, it takes a rectilinear motion. That means a linear motion. That means straight line motion. Now, I am going to start uh, uh, or I will explain the next motion that is the curvilinear motion. This is also that uh, type of uh, translatory motion. So, curvilinear motion is the motion of the body along the curved line. That means when the body uh, moves along the curved path, okay, then we can say that the body possesses the curvilinear motion. You can see in the diagram that, uh, uh, that a car which is moving in a curved path, curved path, okay. So, another example also you can take, suppose a ball thrown upwards at an angle, so, when it is coming down, it is taking the curvilinear motion. So, these are the types of translatory motion. Our next type of motion is the circulatory or the other name of circulatory motion is the rotatory motion. So, when a body moves about a fixed point without changing its position, it is said to be in the circulatory or rotatory motion. Suppose you just switch on the fan and you will notice that the blades of that ceiling fan are in the that uh, circulatory motion. That means they are moving in a circle about a fixed point. Okay. So, this is the example of the circulatory motion. So, in that case you can say that the blades of a ceiling fan are in the circulatory or the rotatory motion. The other example you can see in that uh, GIF that is uh, potter's wheel which is uh, uh, moving in a circle about a fixed point. That means that pot is not changing its plates. That is also one of the example of circulatory or rotatory motion or the spinning top. The other example of that uh, circulatory or rotatory motion is the spinning top which is moving about a fixed point. Okay. And it is not changing its position. The other example you can see in the diagram that is the wheels of a, a bicycle. That is, they are moving in a circle about a fixed point. Okay, they are not changing their path. In the same way, we can see that uh, the, or we can take the other example, that is the earth revolving around the sun. It is given in the book also. That means the earth uh, revolves in a fixed orbit or in a fixed path. 
uh, about a fixed point that fixed point is the sun okay that means earth is moving in a circular path about a fixed point that is one of the example of that rotatory or circulatory motion so in your daily life also you can uh, identify the, uh, that the different types of motion next motion is the oscillatory motion so the motion of an object which moves as a whole as a whole that means the full body will be in the motion uh, to or fro or back and forth along the same path without changing its shape that means the path as well as the shape will not be changed of this uh, object uh, due to that motion uh, so in that case we can say that the object is in oscillatory motion we can take one example of that pendulum of a clock you can see in the diagram the pendulum of this clock is uh, moving to and fro motion and this is one of the example of that oscillatory motion because the path of this pendulum is not changing and that it is not changing its shape also that means it is in the oscillatory motion our next example is that a boy uh, on a swing it is performing that oscillatory motion uh, it is moving with the back and forth okay back and forth to and fro that means right and left and back and forth that means in that way okay so that boy is moving with that uh, back and forth along the same path it is not changing its uh, uh, that shape and that path also so this is uh, also the example of oscillatory motion the other example of that oscillatory motion is uh, uh, that uh, needle of a sewing machine did you see that uh, a needle of a sewing machine uh, it uh, it comes up and down so this is uh, this is also the one one of the example of that oscillatory motion in our next class we will uh, study about the next example or the next type of that oscillatory motion and these are the vibratory periodic and non periodic motion actually these three are also that uh, a kind of oscillatory motion okay so so that's all for today's class i hope you understood the explained topic so study the explained topic so that you can understand better so here uh, i would like to inform you about that notes that i will upload the notes after finishing that uh, units because uh, all the question which are related with the different tops topics they are merged in the exercise so it will be very difficult for us to uh, to uh, give the question answers which are based on different topics so i will give that uh, snapshot of that uh, back exercise like fill ups and match the following and all that so i will give that uh, snapshot of the uh, back ex back exercise so that you can feel your uh, uh, back exercise okay so that's all for today's class stay safe stay home thank you